Hello and good good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the whatever number episode this one is of Shadow Archipelago. Uh, Yay! Now, uh, where we left with Doc, the party had just finished clearing the ship, uh, manned by a certain druid named Krell, uh, a devil to the Spinner of Shadows, a demon lord of spiders and secrets. Uh... Beyond, while making their escape and making their way back, back to lizard folks, along with their, with the bounty and the cash magical cache in their hands, they, the party found a dragon turtle. They, they went down, talked to it, and found out that there's something more going on with these things, and that the giant tentacle, it was actually a avatar of the god and the god named the Devourer. However, in order to learn more information, the party has to go find who has stolen the staff from uh, Salamus. And the party, thankful through some good rolls, protection rolls, were able to gain free passage without being without being interrupted or rolling any random encounters. Now, if I remember correctly, we ended at Guys, getting to the lizard book. Yes, mm-hmm. we are trying to return the magical trident. items to the lizard folk, and um, York is no longer attuned to the trident. Hopefully. All right. Let's see real quick. Let me find my notes. What are you laughing at? Sorry, I, I take notes in three different notebooks, so sometimes it's a thing. There oh. we go. All right. I've got a computer tower covered in post-it <laughs> notes, so I feel you. All righty. By the way, how's the audio? Is it fine in stream? I'm sure Cole has said it. should have said Let's that. take a look. As I buy time for me? Hmm. I think yep. you and Tyrant are coming in just a little bit low. Are we? Yeah, that's typical. Let's see. All right, I raise my own volume. Yes. <laughs> Am I turned all the way down? Because that's <laughs> probably recommended. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> How am I now? A little bit better, I think. Good. <clears throat> okay. Now, you guys make your way through, and you, as you're going, as you're piloting the ship over, you see that there's a lot more, there's a lot more guards at the mouth of the cave, and you get hailed and taken to the High Queen's Nesser, Nesser cave, oh, sorry, uh, room, where you found, where you guys found, and you saw them debating. However, she's alone. <clears throat> and, Mary. and so what do we have here <clears throat> of some things <clears throat> um, where you hello st- your highness we are here sent on a mission to look at one of the uncovered uh, boats. What we have Mm. found was so many dangerous things, but fear not. Am I still carrying the crate myself? You're the only one that can carry it. (laughs) But fear not, douche. We have what you are looking for. Hmm. All right. Hmm. And she goes over, opens it. Count it out. Huh. Well done. Really, I respect for some of y'all to have taken something, but it looks all the potions and all the javelins. Mm. Oh, you no. Got... There's no way we could take from such good friends. 
<laughs> Y'all are hmm, more trustworthy than the than your governors and from the people we talk to. Well, I would hope so. I don't live with them, so I would hope so. <laughs> Why are you treating those folks so fine? Because you're cool. She's you can you. speak and you can think. That's a good show. I mean, you gave us no reason not to. You see, we uh, we have done business in the past, and I figured there would be no reason for me, for us, to betray your trust in the present. Yes, Merriweather. You've been, though if I remember correctly, there was an incident a few weeks back. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, nothing that uh, I couldn't handle. Um, you see, sometimes, sometimes we have to, uh, how do you say, uh, bail out and do away with what we were planning. But uh, rest assured, the shipments will continue to come, both allowed and otherwise. The High Enchanter could really use that. So if you could, so if you could bring some more, or at least any, you'll be promptly rewarded. Right. But talking about rewards, what would you like in return for finding the cachet? Magical stuff. Mm -hmm. Very good bows and arrows. Mm -hmm. Your undisputed friendship is all your needs. Well, now you make me feel selfish. <laughs> Something I could wear that would allow me to swim would be great. Uh, I don't know how to. <laughs> Merryweather. I believe just safe passage within your lands and perhaps your continued business and consideration for continued adventures. Hmm. A bow, you said? Yes. I would love a nice bow. The High Enchanter should have one. However, we, none of us need equipment to swim as we are naturally gifted. We have no such thing. Pick something else. Fair. Uh... Well, a better shield then, I suppose. That can be arranged. And friendship and friendship, all right. Okay. She, you are uh, going. You uh, see her and she starts mouthing words in Draconic. Which none of us know. None of you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Hmm. A bow for you will be coming in shortly. And a shield. We have one of our dragon guards. Shield should be quite useful for you. And friendship. Friendship. Friendship is worth, I'd say, 2,000 gold. Damn, that's some good friendship! Friendship's like giving friends shinies. <laughs> I would feel... Uh, I would say friendship is magic, but it is me. I feel it would be inappropriate <laughs> for me to take your call. However, 
Is it possible that you might have some old spell books or spell scrolls that are just laying around? Hmm. I would have to talk to Sorev, but none of us Lizardfolk don't use academic magic. We have hmm. all the nature gives us everything she wants. She wants everything we need. So I don't believe we would have anything that would be that useful to you, Meriwether. Well, then the gold will be fine for my own academic purposes. Thank you. Any strange uh, tales about the uh, stars? Creation, things like that. Hmm. You would have to talk with Kapesk and Sadly, he is a little bit, he's not as progressive as I. <laughs> if anything, he was uh, arguing for your prompt kill, uh, murder, experiment, and cooking when y'all first arrived. I don't think you'll find him to be quite open to sharing our stories. Very nice. That will do for me then. Better shield and uh, stories. All right. So she walks back to the, and you see that in the throne, there is a, to the left of the throne room, there is a throne, and around it's just water. And you start, see what looks like, oh, every now and again, crocodiles start swimming up and about. And so some of them lounging by the throne. She walks on the water and goes over. Says, so, if you go talk to. Sarev, you'll have what you need. Is that all? <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. She motions you out. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I really hope you guys would actually keep the trident or ash for it. <laughs> I had something set up for you so you can have it. Oh. Aww. Oh. Aww. Excuse me, I want to refund my friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it, the trident is possessed. Kidding. Roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> no, no, no. You know all the things that stores are not giving in any refunds anymore? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. All right. And with that, you guys... Uh, you guys go away for a little bit. You see this uh, very old lizard folk come in, and he see has a very big necklace, like five chains actually, not one necklace, five chains, and a bunch of little. Uh, <laughs> and you see that it, while some people would have earrings in the ears, he actually has piercings on his flesh that have the um, where he embeds faceted gems. And you see he brings in a bow. A plus one bow and a shield of the sentinel for Samar and says, This is all you guys requested. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Did we already get our gold? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she didn't say that. <laughs> and he slowly walks back. <laughs> <laughs> Would you would you like us to assist you? Wait, are you talking about the separate gold? Yeah, that's this, or my the friendship gold. gold. The friendship gold for each of us. <laughs> each of you? I thought it was just me. Uh oh. He also asked for friendship. I cast bless on this poor bastard. Oh, he also. <laughs> he also I'm sorry. I guess I checked out on that one. I thought you were memeing. But yeah, okay, we get friendship gold. Hell yeah. I would like to take my heaping helping of friendship gold, yes. Yeah, and you were saying, what were you saying before that, Meriwether? <laughs> um, if he would like help. <laughs> oh, yes. I could really use some. Two okay, gold yeah. weighs a lot, you guys. Two thousand gold weighs a lot. Four thousand even more. Okay, okay. I will. I if you would well, like, I can come to help you carry the gold. I I also have a um, bag of holding that we can put it in. So uh, 
let us uh, get mm-hmm. on the way. Mm-hmm. And, he, and you guys move forward a little bit slowly. He has about 10 feet moving speed mechanically. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, old oh, sir. Uh, would you like me to carry you the rest of the way? No, no, no. Kepek would eat me if I... If he sees me being handled by you guys. How old is this guy? You ask? How old are you? (laughs) I'm 140 of your years. Damn! For fuck's sake, I I cast age on I cast (laughs) eight on him. You cast eight on Bless. You see that his movement speed actually becomes like 15 feet. (laughs) So (laughs) double (laughs) double. (laughs) almost. Uh, Screw it, Twilight Sanctuary too. He gets an, an additional. Let me roll a one d eight. One temporary hit point. Do you do you cleanse him of his oldness too? <laughs> I mean, it gets rid of any uh, frightened or charmed condition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, remember, you guys, that uh, healing spells actually do help old people gain back some of the youthfulness. Really? Mm. Yep, so a bless and fuck it. I walk up to I walk up behind him and I, don't I care enough to do it. And I cast cure wounds on his shoulder at at uh, at second level. All right, you do all that. And you see that his speed becomes twenty five. You see that the scales are they were a little bit more. Uh, they should be gray, but these were almost ashy white. Start getting wow. the luster back and start becoming a little bit more gray. Some of the scars that he actually had that were very looked almost as if they were um, crap. I forget what it is that uh, people get like uh, I don't know. Uh, these scars are getting healed a little bit. Sorry, I'm not that old, so I don't have to worry about wrinkles. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> these and I scars for first that level cure boomers well. get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm dumping all of my healing into this crusty old lizard. Yeah, you see that he actually he was a little bit bent down a little bit and he starts shaking out his spine a little. And thank thank you. Uh, thank you, young one. Haven't felt this good in ages. And as a cautionary measure, I cast spare the dying. <laughs> oh because you gave him too many steroids. <laughs> Overdose. I'm Man, gonna run with, back the, to the ship. with the with the Emperor <laughs> prices that are running. Oh. Man, with 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 how Eberron is, you that man owes you his life basically. And hell yeah, he does. You hey, you're not part of the House Jurassic, so if you start selling, uh, cure you're right. I'm gonna build my own house. <laughs> so you go. Ah, well, now that I feel this good, I should be able to take out the gold. As it is, I probably shouldn't let you guys go into the one of the treasuries anyhow. Are you sure? It should it should be so easy for me to help you with this. Ooh, what kind of stuff's in the treasury? Roll me a persuasion check. Sure. Oh, I think it's like a ten. Uh, Someone is surprised no, you are. I'm sure with the light and some help. Nine. You got a nine. 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 Well, I thank you guys for the healing. You really shouldn't be doing wouldn't do that okay okay we will wait out here thank you <laughs> sorry about that. you guys got to deliver some chocolate but uh you guys go forward and uh see just wait here and you go you walk in and you see that he actually walks into darkness magical darkness and i can see just fine you can see yeah. it. You can see it's fine. Can you see through magical darkness at this level? I believe so. Uh, uh, are you memeing? Because if you can, <laughs> so you can't. Uh, you get it? Not yet, at, apparently. Okay, I was it. confusing that with Devil's Sight. Never mind. Mm-hmm. You get it um, at level seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody right. noticed, but if you had noticed, it'd be a very interesting surprise. <laughs> Fair <Bad>. enough. <gasps> There's nothing in there that I can see. <laughs> and here, you actually hear him. Uh, actually hit something and you hear the sounds of a, a bunch of bunch of coins falling through the ground. It's like, oh no, oh crap. <laughs> he starts bringing up the coins and he comes out after like a few more minutes and has a chest with only gold coins, no platinum. 
Wow. You're Yikes. old. Well, thank you so much. Is this one chest all of it? Oh my god, there's two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, seriously, would you like will, some help? I will take the first one from you, and we will wait here so you can bring back the next one. All right. He goes back. You can you can hear the sighs, and he's like, "Oh my god, wasting my wasting my old life on this. Damn, I really should do better." And oh man, like, guys, this is an old person in D anD. d Are you sure retire! we should kill him? <laughs> Retire! <laughs> Your life sucks, old man. <laughs> Either we kill him or something else does. So. That was Cryer, casts Retire! That's <laughs> command word. I'm on the boat, so I'm not by y'all anymore. Yeah, he, he's a man in a matriarchal society. He can't retire. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes back with the other chest of gold. It's like, here you go. <clears throat> Here you go. You know, hold on, uh, let me take a look at that back for you, yeah? <laughs> I'm going to try and do some Cairo, uh, uh, some chiropractor work on this guy real quick. All right. Snap his back into place. Holy shit, if you mess this up, you're going to break his fucking back. <laughs> sure, Probably. Check. Oh, I was hoping oh, medical. Not a medicine, medicine. Oh, no. not do, you a medicine, medicine? Check? do you have medicine? Yes, proficiency. Okay, then go medicine check. Okay. <laughs> Medicine oh, strength. Fuck me all seeing eye. Medicine strength. Medicine, check. medicine strength. Yes. Ew. Two now checks. medicine wisdom. No, instead of add your proficiency because you're really medicine, but it's a roll of d20, add your proficiency, and your strength modifier. Oh, God. There's not a lot of wisdom with actual chiropractor. Oh, actually. 21. 21. Nice. Are you going? You you go in. It's a little bit different. The uh, <laughs> sorry, you see that the lizard folks' uh, ribs actually have about two more than what uh, other humanoids have, and and it, that kind of throws you for a loop for a little bit. You're easily like, oh, this is like uh, this is like some of your the other gets Yankee. So, and then you go in easily. Pop, you all hear. It almost sounds. All right, like, this is going to suck. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Uh, uh, but he's oh no <laughs> and it should be feeling good in about five seconds mm -hmm. uh, oh yes oh yes uh, oh yes <sighs> picks his voice <laughs> and you see that you see that uh, one of his, his uh, when you did that you actually the scream loud scream actually uh, caused some phlegm to come out and actually cleared his voice Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel alive. <laughs> hmm. How much uh, do you feel like staying here, young lad? Do you feel like staying here, young lad? And maybe doing that every week or so. Every week or so. How much pay would it involve? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that for free. Which reminds me, I'm not going to do that for free. Uh, five gold. <laughs> <laughs> Walks back into the treasury. <laughs> Actually, it gives you twenty-five. Huh. How about a how? What do we say? Thirty gold a session. Thirty gold. A Forty. Session? All right. Deal. <laughs> All right. Still have a little bit of work left to do, so it'll probably be a few weeks before I catch up with you, but deal. All right. We do that. He brings a second chest of gold for Merriweather. You guys uh, go back. And as you're walking back, you see that um, there's no more merfolk, no more Lokatoa. Lokatoa. The pool that they gotcha. got were uh, occupied by them when you were walking, even sea lions. We're just occupied by many, many sea lions. Sea lions? Just sea lions now? That's it? Oh, okay. Sea lions in D&D are different. <laughs> what are D&D D &D D &D sea lions? Because every animal apparently is massive. Wait, I'm, co I'm copying the image real quick. They do the so little scrunchy 
I'm a bad DM and I don't have <laughs> I don't have all the things set up. <laughs> Just test. All right, you guys over here. This is the sea line. What the fuck? That's a sea lion. Yeah, it's an actual on. lion. You gotta change the, the change the sea the scene on stream. See, stream can't even see that. Oh yeah, you mean like this? Okay. Yeah, change it to the map. All right, there we go. Holy fucking shit! I will not do that. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I have about uh, a lot of scenes. This is what a Sea lion is in DMD. It's cut off on the stream. There we go. It's head. There you go. Sorry. It's uh not at all the uh, bubbly thing you guys and <laughs> not at all <laughs> the round sea dog. <laughs> it's an actual. It's more say a lion, actual lion. All right. Now that it, that's that. Are they just like chilling out or are they? <laughs> They're being bred. <laughs> How big is it compared to me, Yorick? It's not a me, large me. creature. Ooh. Which means I can grapple it. Yes, you can. You see but you see, oh my you, gosh. you see a few more. Uh, you see that uh, the pool you're in, it actually has uh, fencing around it. And there's one actual lizard frog that's standing in a little platform, uh, looking over them, giving them uh, a little bit, some fish, some swagon parts, feeding them. And you see that also some of them also have... Um, I will say only like to have what looks like to be saddles or at least a, their attempt at making saddles. So these are domesticated? Yeah. Word. Yeah, and this is, and you keep going for you see that the tone, the tone of the uh, cave, the Lizard Cave has changed. There's a lot more people sparring. You don't even see the two hatchlings that you see be saw before are nowhere to be found. Even then, you look in the kitchen where you guys got some of the uh, spices in order to make the kebab for Litrix. There's nobody there. It, and it looks like the flame have been put out for a few days as the lizard folk are doing their best to prepare for the incoming war. Good. Hmm. Okay. Well, should we uh, make our way back to Salt Marsh and perhaps check up on the shop? Maybe check in with uh, what's his name? Uh, Anders. Anders. Check in with Anders and see if he has any work for us. Yes, yes. We should go see Mr. Anders again. And when we can... Uh, I would like to go see Mama with all of my new friendship gold. There are maybe something cool over there. <laughs> Can I, uh, is it possible? Sorry, oh, dear, yeah. is it possible that I would be able to seek an audience with the Master Queen uh, or the Queen Master mm -hmm. again, real quick? Sure, Just you can go back. Yeah. Oh. Um, royal chambers? Alone. Ooh. No, not necessarily alone. If you guys want to come, that's fine. Um, no, no, I will count my shinies. You can go alone. You have your fun. Um, Queen Nesta. Um, one thing that we did not mention is the reason why the magical item shipment was postponed was because it was attacked by a large creature of the deep. Um, do you know anything about the avatars of the Devourer? Well, huh. You see that she... Roll me an inside check. Okay, <laughs> I can do that. Oh, that's great. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I believe it's... The... <laughs> what was that, Hank Hill? Boo! Uh, Boo! Bobby! 13. <laughs> I, mean, I swear to God. <laughs> and you're, you actually have talked with Lizard Folk before, so Lord ADC a little. And 
You see that she actually took back a little bit as almost she was offended that we asked. <laughs> the okay. devourer, yes. There's a, a lot of... I can see why you would ask. Well... Well, the devourer is one of the dark six. The god, one of the gods that were taken out of the Silver and Host. And some people believe the Praetorian God of Lizardfolk. Now, <laughs> that seems like somewhat of a misconception. From what I've seen, the, you all have been quite gracious um, hosts and have helped us quite a bit. This devourer seems to be some evil entity. Um, do you know... You thought the shit on their god? Wow. Just... I'm just going to go to our boat before we die. See you. I'm on the boat. Is this... Uh... Is there any information you'd be able to give to me about these avatars and perhaps how they are created or what they are used for? Well, Lizard, the Bower is no friend to lizard folk or to my tribe. It's just a misconception that you scalers have come about for some reason. We are all, I believe the word would be atheists. However, I can tell you what I know about the devourer. The avatars are, just like any other god, mirrors, pieces of gods came that uh, come into the prime material plane in order to further their, their, agenda, their agenda of the god. The devourer, however, enjoys, makes quite a lot of avatars that I would say we fight one at least once a decade. And you would know with your passive history that avatars are usually rare. It's at least once a century is a lot. And the traveler is the one that's most... Uh, the most uh, people happy god that was last seen 200 years ago. Mm. As it is, the as it is, the avatars of the bower are somewhat weaker than what a uh, other avatar would be. We have killed a few, and she points at one of the shark heads she has. That was one of them. And you yes. see that it's a double-headed shark. He, uh, he would be huge. You see that the rows are well, like uh, many sharks that have rows of teeth. These ones are about... Think about it more as snake fangs. Wow. Not serrated, but just puncturing. That was the last one. That was the last one we fought. This avatar seems to be some sort of giant cephalophile, a squid or octopus of some sort. That is new. That is the Woward usually just focuses on Sawagin and sharks. Those are the only two... <laughs> Uh, forms of his avatar has taken before. We had thought that there would be an avatar for the Sawagin, but if you have seen one, that's a octopus. That might mean there's actually two or more. Huh. Let Who told you this? To say the least. Um, well, we saw the avatar. It's almost took one of us. Um, it was quite large, too. I would say larger than whatever the avatar you took down was. It 
wrapped around and took down an entire ship. In fact, the only reason we know that it is an avatar of the Devourer is because we met a dragon turtle uh, on our way back. Um, her name was Zala Amos. Do you know of this being? Uh, no, we have not. The only dragon around here The only dragon we know of is hidden, and what, a, and whose name I cannot tell you, as that's one of the requirements for our continued trade with her. But a dragon turtle, you say? Yes. Where? Uh, it was uh, maybe two days out from shore, between here and. Uh, where the shipwreck was, I could draw a map for you. All right. Um, it is important that this dragon turtle is not harmed or disturbed. We are actually going on a quest for her, um, mm. which is another thing I wanted to ask you about. Um, do you know, have you seen... Uh, an adamantium staff with four gems on the top of it. Or have you heard of any legends or lore or anything of the sort? You're asking the wrong person, Meriwether. Well, none of us in no Lizifrook use staves. We all use our claws or some swords some enchanted swords. As it is, I cannot tell you if we about any staff. As it is, my sphere of influence is quite limited. Yes. Perhaps our contacts in Salt March will have some information. But thank you. I appreciate the information mm -hmm. that you have given us. Um, we will uh, keep you updated if uh, we find out any more information about the avatar of the Devourer. And you'll try to bring back some more Phoenix Ash? Of course, yes, as soon as possible. All right, you can see yourself out. Thank you. And Mary will bow and make mm. his way out. Meriwether, roll me a religion trick. Sure. Smart, oh, okay. smart boy. <clears throat> uh, 22. 22, nice. All right, with that, after... Because uh, you didn't really notice it before since the Bower avatar. So uh, the Bower is pretty common word to you. And now you think about it, you think, you know that the Bower is one of the uh, Dark Six and that it's some sailors actually pay service to them, as in just saying... Uh, please don't kill us as we go to <laughs> go to sea. But uh, it's also the god. It's one of its things is hunger. All the things that hunger in the deep are of him. The reason lizard folk are not is because they're just atheists. As a whole, they don't see the reason as to why you should pray to a god. The most is they might. The most they might have for relationship with dragons. Or other people, but beyond that, no. And you also know that the bar is sometimes worshipped by some of the uh, uh, a cult called the Dragon in the Deep. Ooh. And I would say, I would say that's enough for now, as you make your way back. I was sitting outside and waiting for him. Oh, Mary. Hello. Everything work out okay? You don't seem stabbed or bleedy. Uh, no, I, uh, I am totally fine. Thank you for your concern, Doc. Um, should we make our way back to the others? Yes, please. I'm feeling very homesick. And we have quite a bit of gold to 
perhaps spend. So much gold. I can't wait to go see Mama. <laughs> this is going to be uh, very good. I have some leftover um, apparel that I need to offload anyway. Since I now have a uh, bashing the walking stick against a new shield, something a little bit better than last time around. Ooh. I feel like jogging in place, honestly, using this thing. Hmm. Uh, did Sterling head off without us? I. Oh, I, I thought. Um, Sterling was already at the boat, and uh, I've been gone for a while. Samar was at the boat too. Oh, Samar was too. Okay. So I'm assuming, yeah, we just got back to the boat and we had this conversation. Okay. Well, let us go. Uh, well, how do you like your uh, new bow? It is the tits. I thought you said new ball. I was like, who got a new ball? What the fuck? <laughs> so oh, just new, uh, right? This thing is great. I feel like I can see farther with it. Almost as if I have advantage on perception checks using this thing. <laughs> right, you go to the Why are you talking about more? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I tuned out for a moment there. <laughs> the, the new shield's not working as good as you think. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards to home. No. All right, Merriweather, you know the deal. Owe me a water vehicles check with intelligence. <laughs> I don't know how to use a water vehicle. And whoever yeah. wants to uh, look at be the lookout over in the uh, look around for perception. That is eighteen. All right. Just gonna do some push-ups. And uh, I will try to be a lookout with my ship perception, but with my upgraded ability to use it. Oh, mm -hmm. how I wish that I had. Mm, not terrible, it. actually. Um, natural 18, it's 22. 22, nice. And guys, let me. All right, you guys go through the first day until it's like about three days to get there. It's pretty calm. It feels almost as if the protection that. As I Amos has given you, has uh, hasn't gone, hasn't uh, been expired, hasn't expired yet. All right, second roll. No. Yeah. Um, twenty-one. Nice. Soft twenty. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys are going through, and you see that from the far side, uh, actually. It's pretty easy encounter, but you say more. You see what looks like to be a hole in the sea. Further away, about. Should, about I'll probably give that a wide berth. I think that's a maelstrom. That would be the right word for that. Yeah, mm, let's avoid it. There's a hole in the middle of the sea. Yes, I see. There's a hole. Keep a wide berth. Maelstrom! No. <laughs> All right. You guys go through. You're taking a wide berth, so going pretty close to the shore, actually, in order to uh, give yourself pretty wide berth in case anything happens. Third roll. At this point, I'm probably laying on the deck, like, holding my periapt, thinking, mm -hmm. like, oh, I wonder if she gets lonely down there, all by her lonesome. That's a 10. Uh, 19. All right. As you're going through, um, Samar, you notice something weird over down in the water and you go back to say something to uh say something to Meriwether but Meriwether uh, can't really hear you too well because of the sound and he actually drives right into it as you I can get a better look you see that it's an actual a two-headed shark Fuck. down below <laughs> oh two-headed shark yeah weird Could we have had the time for a long rest <laughs> since weird. Weird. you had two long rest. Show? sharks in the water cool. two long rests <laughs> All right, good, because I am out of healing spells no longer. Crap, where is the damn old 20? <laughs> and I will give Vigilant Blessing uh, to Merryweather. You know, I could have been rolled that. I need Which means move. he gets advantage on his, uh, well, his initiative, and so do I, because this fucking shield is actually strangely good. Take me yep. to the water. And it's actually, he doesn't get a surprise round, thanks to Samar. Nice. As let me just uh, open this up. Put you guys over here. 
boop, boop. Same over here. <clears throat> there it is. This little red box. It's the double-headed shark, guys. <laughs> it's so big. Sharks. Oh. I cannot. Oh, no. We're fighting geometry. My character. Dun, 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 dun. Whoever has that character, can y'all delete? What character? Uh, my Sterling. Oh, do you not have? Oh, I can not select smart. This is a problem. Just right. pull, just delete him. And pull, pull your guys out of um the journal. Yeah. And Mary, yeah, delete him. Oh. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I really thought oh. you guys would uh, make it fine. Double head of shine. This... Yeah, I thought so too. Double head of shine. Oh. Can I find a double Especially head with head that new with that shield there. Okay. Sorry. Wait, do I have proficiency in this? Because it's coast or is this ocean? This is a, this is very much ocean. Very much ocean. Very much ocean. If oh, we're I... probably I thought we were closer to the shore, though, because we were veering off from In the thing. previous day's navigation, avoiding the mail. Well, that stream, was, yes. Yeah, that was yesterday. This is today. Oh, this is today. Uh-oh, we lost a couple... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man overboard! Whoa! Okay. Damn it. One of these, one of these times I'll do this, right? Where's our double-headed shark? Did you do our initiative pre-roll again? Uh, no, you guys can roll me initiative. My apologies. Okay, and Meriwether, you have advantage on yours because Vigilant Blessing is great. Oh, advantage on mine? Yes. And because of my shield, I have advantage on mine. That is 15. Dirty 20. Nice. I only got the 14. 21. On oh, ya. Yeah. Let's write it down. Oh, in yeah, it's in it's in the chat of the Shattered chat. Archipelago. Uh, of Roll Twenty. Roll Twenty chat. <laughs> and I will fix the music. <laughs> Apologies, you guys. Do oh. not apologize. We will dismantle the shark in no time. All right. Oh, how's it? oh he's so cute. Can I keep it? Can I, Vegeta? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> all right, and here we go. First one. Uh, we're missing someone. Uh, Merriweather. What do you mean? I said post there, I said post it, in it in the chat. Write it down. Type it in the chat. Oh, oh, Freshman. Freshman. It's his first day. It's his first day. It becomes a one. That's it. We give him a swirly. Ooh. Idiot. Where's that maelstrom? All right, let's see. First one to go. Crap, 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 crap. Dun, 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 dun. All right, are you crapping? Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Please don't crap on stream. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Save that for home. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. <laughs> All right, uh, first one to go is... Uh, Martyr, what do you like to do? I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay, okay. And I will make a, a longbow attack with Sharpshooter. Mm. That a will disadvantage be a... when you're shooting into water. Disadvantage? Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that will be a 12 to hit. Doesn't hit. <laughs> Just barely hits. Uh, nice. oh, what do you think this is? Do you have two attacks? <laughs> nope. No, yeah. I don't have two attack. I'm not level five yet. Come you on, guys, five, you, you guys get level five and you get salt marks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next, That's my turn. Next one, Murrayweather. Mary is going to. Uh, let's let's see how this works, and he's gonna throw an ice knife at it. A disadvantage for the roll? Okay. <laughs> to hit. Ooh. Uh, that's still a 21 to hit. 
Okay, Hits. Let me Let's roll the deck save. Um, um, fails. Roll damage. He takes five piercing damage and uh, eight ice damage. Not math. All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, next is going to be the shark's turn. And <gasps> it's actually going to... Sorry, the the Ma of the Devourer is going to go over here. Oh, it's a big boy. <laughs> it's going to go down to back. Is he going to go on the ship? It's going to go... No, sorry. It's <laughs> under <laughs> the ship. <laughs> it, under the sea. It's under the ship, but I don't know enough World 20 of how to make it under. <laughs> I am not Luca. <laughs> And it's going to go under the ship and attack your ship, actually. Oh, God damn. What? Yep. And <clears throat> let's see. You have the stats for the ship, right? Do we? I hope you shit splinters. Do I? You should. It's your ship. Yep, there it is. Stats for the ship. <laughs> uh, DC 15. Or sorry, AC 15. All right, it fails the first one with the 16. Actually, no, makes it just there, right? Yeah, it's a 15. Oh, nice. So it hits, damn. It's a lot of damage. And it's going to be... It's, it's going to be 17 damage to your hole. And it uh, hits one. Then it's going to take what a is, second attack. What hmm? does damage threshold mean? It means that if I roll lower than 10, it does no damage. As you roll above 10. And that's a 17. Yeah, above 10. That's again. Ooh, and that's a uh, 23. <laughs> so you take all that, and it goes under your ship. You would have total cover to enter your spells. All right, next would be uh, Samar. What do you like to do? Uh, well, that ruins my plan since I can't eat. Can see, blah, 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 since I can't see this bitch. Uh, we can go underwater. <laughs> Terrible idea, but sure. All right, so let's see. You know what? For once, this might actually work. Smarter's going to cast darkness under the ship. Murk up that water. All right. Directly uh, under the ship. What's the radius of darkness? Just uh, uh, twenty foot radius. Twenty foot radius here. Er, wait. Uh, ah, uh, no, 15 foot radius. Sorry. Okay, so 30 diameter. Let's say like this. I need to roll the initiative for the ship. Uh, only if you're running away. I mean... Are, are you running away? <clears throat> I don't know if we're running away, but yeah. like... Only reason I'm doing this is because spells against it right now have disadvantage anyway. As well the as way I have things. it set up is, sure, if you want to make your initiative be... Because you, you only have one crew member, and that's you, Meriwether. So if you're doing something else, you cannot pilot the ship and, and lose its initiative. And you have no ballista, so that's why I didn't say that. My apologies, I'll be more clear next time. Yeah, but it can move out, and we'd be able to see the shark. I think it can move, but you have to use your turn to move it. Yeah, you're the pilot. <laughs> you need crew members to actually pilot the crew, the ship. The ship can't just move on itself. It's not a ghost ship. <laughs> it has sails. <laughs> yes. As I do not have any significant bonus actions in the forms of kin trips, I will go ahead and end my uh, turn there. But I will say, if anybody wants to get on the... Push Meriwether aside and get on the helm and drive the ship around. You are able to. I mean, I have proficiency in navigator's tools. We're fucking doing that, sure. <laughs> you already, you already use your action, so I can see you can move next to Meriwether if you want. Down, down. Balls. Okay, fine. Yeah, this is gonna be damn near impossible. <laughs> At least now it has disadvantage when it tries to attack the right. ship, and everybody else had disadvantage George. anyway already. What would you like to do? This is what I've been waiting for. Okay. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> Guys, what do I do? What have... what? I I rage. <sighs> <sighs> I drop my gear. Drop my pack. 
Grab my grab my my battle axe. All right. I jump in the water. Oh no! <laughs> okay. I, it was at this that, moment that like, he knew. You can see like the tail end of the of the of the maw of the avatar, if you want. It will be currently in darkness, half of its body. So I'm gonna stay in the darkness, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. attack it where I think it is. Okay. This is an attack straight. If you're gonna use your uh, reckless attack. Nope, I'm gonna attack normal. <clears throat> All right. So disadvantage. But I am raging. Mm -hmm. Um, nine. So I miss. Yeah, you do. But then I can attempt to grapple. You already used your bonus action to rage. I raged. I can sit here and smirk. <laughs> I sit in the water, in the darkness. All right. And with that, it will be Martyr's turn. Uh, sorry, Sterling's turn. What do you like to do? Yeah, right. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, get away from that edge there. Uh, I'm going to take another shot with Sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. So disadvantage again. Is it double disadvantage because of the darkness? There's no such thing as double disadvantage. Yeah, no. It's, it's just... <laughs> is it? Oh, no. That's not There's no one. double disadvantage, but there's super advantage. Wait, so it's is... going to be a 12 again to hit. Is it under the ship or is it on the It's side? under the ship. It's just that I have to put it over there so you guys can actually see it. Otherwise, right. it looks like it's here <laughs> flopping about on the ship. <laughs> oh, can I even take an attack oh, at it? No, you cannot. I would... Oh. Actually, let's say it's over here. There we go. <laughs> All right, then I'll be over here, if that's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. But it's under the ship. Yep. So. It's partially submerged under the ship, half yes. not. So I need to, like, get up on the front of the bow, kind of, and, like, mm -hmm. try to pew, shoot down into the water. Yep. Uh, that's a 12 to hit, though, so it misses. Damn, sorry about that. Uh, next turn, you What's have your bonus distance? action if you want to do anything, like hex. I don't have hex. He has sorry, hunter's, hunter's mark. mark. My apologies. Yeah. Does it, didn't he use hunter's mark? Yeah, I already used hunter's mark. Okay, my apologies. I'll make note of that over here. All right, next it would be Merryweather. Your turn. What would you like to do? I literally have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like so Has it anything hit it yet? Yeah, I hit it with an ice knife. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take control of the helm, and I'm going to try to drift the ship away so that it is on our left. All right, all right. You do that, and I'll just mechanically it would be like over here. Boop, boop, boop. I cannot move sure. y'all's boats, and you'll be over here. That that's good enough. That's a right. Or more, or more left. It's well, fine. It's, it's fine. Out. It's it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Okay. Next is the shark's turn. And let's see. If it has up... disadvantage to hit the boat in darkness. Yeah. That let's was the see. plan. If it goes after the boat or Yorick. It's disadvantage regardless. If it goes after Yorick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <Nice. laughs> he he. he. Let me roll an in check to see if it can just move around the dark. I found the usefulness for this spell. I know, right? It's the one time that it's actually a really good use. Underwater. It's disadvantage anyway, so we might under, as well fuck it over. Underwater, under a boat, against a shark. Very <laughs> under specific. the sea. It always happens, you guys. Every session, every campaign has that. Oh, it actually has a very bad int. Oof. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna stay in the darkness. <laughs> yes. Darkness. I got, I got darkness. A, I got gifted a strength. And it has two heads, but like half a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Between the two of them, doesn't even make one full oh brain. Oh my god, a four and a two. It's a, it's a twelve at the lowest. At the highest. Oh. No, it misses you because you have seventeen AC. So I rolled a fifteen. Yeah, you miss. All right. Can't touch this. Let's see. Who's next? <laughs> Seymour, your turn. Wait, you multi-attacked me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, 
First things first, I am bonus action casting my spiritual kebab. You are hmm. getting added to the steak. And I am making a swing at this thing. With disadvantage, of course, but still. I hear that's where they make moonshine. And natural 20 on one side and a... Wait, is the spiritual weapon at disadvantage? It is, I'm assuming. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so uh, it's 15 like, on the other side. What do you say the kebab is mechanically? Yeah. It's like a spear. Then no, it isn't. Oh, so natural really? 20. Yep, it hits. Huh. Rules <laughs> lawyering. <laughs> I think that's more narrative lawyering since uh, whatever. Regardless, I'm not going to screw myself out of this. Um, no, 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 no. It's no longer that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's see. That is 12 force damage. All right. Nice. And then I am going to toll the dead. Wisdom saving throw. Does toll of the dead require you to see the creature? Oh! Give a shit. Ah, at one point you can see within range balls. All right. Sorry. All right. Well, then I will instead uh, shove my thumb up my ass and wait. So that ends my turn. All right. Now it's going to use a legendary action to. Let's see. Does it use one or two? It's really going to use two legendary actions, actually, because it not, it's not going to move. <laughs> it's going to... It's so, it can't get out of darkness. Like It smells you, Yorick, and it wants to bite of you. Uh, give me a deck save. Not out of sure. magic, because you can't see. Sure. Oh, it was so good. It's a ten. Ten. Oof. Oh, no! If you fail, yeah. it's okay. It's only 2d6 points of damage, Arena. Oh, that's fine. You take eight points of slashing damage. Halved. Yes. Rage. As you see that, the, as you see the shark look around, start snapping at, at, all around it in a circle, and sees you, and I was able to get just glance you by the leg. Not Ooh, spin to win. Mm -hmm. All right. Next is uh. Yorick. Yorick. Oh, I shall send it right back at you with disadvantage. <laughs> Aya. Um, seven plus six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Does it hit? Barely. Yes, it hits. And that's going to be a, uh, ten plus four, fourteen plus two, sixteen points of slashing damage. All right, all right. Nice, nice. I'm going to use my bonus action to grapple him. Um... <laughs> And is that I... advantage with the acrobatics, ac athletics check? I would what assume you... it's disadvantage from darkness, but advantage from rage, so flat roll? I have no idea. Let me see. Nice butt. Because <laughs> technically you. it's like an a, you're, you're foregoing your attack roll to do Daddy's a grapple got an check. Ass. Blinded. Uh, disadvantage don't only on attacks, not ability checks. Actually... Okay, great. Mm-hmm. There you go. Good. So you, All right. You have enough of a uh, your power perception is enough to so actually know where around where he would be. Great. And I wouldn't say grappling is sight dependent because otherwise you all be it'll be quite hard to do that in a bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a wrestler. You think I saw whatever I was grabbing at? <laughs> okay. Um. So my grapple check uh -huh. is uh twenty three. Twenty four. Are you kidding me? Not at all. <sighs> it has a I plus I was eight slick. to athletics. I thought I was slick. Bet you thought. You are. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was slick, but he was slickier. And it's still okay. not going to use his last interaction to move. <laughs> all right. That's all the right. end of my turn. All right. With that, you go in. You try to grab it, and you grab one of the necklaces, actually, and you... You think, oh, yes, right, and you yank at it, and you see that, and it just drops, and you just have a string of pearls on you. Ah! All, right. All right, next is... Sterling. Uh, Sterling, what would you like to do? I'm going to try, try again, and sharpshooter attack. Okay, 
Disadvantage. Fucking 12! <laughs> it's like they keep taking turns on which one's gonna roll a 7. <laughs> the AC is 13, guys. <laughs> ah! Alright. <laughs> and Martyr has rolled two 12s. Martyr, are Three you 12s. Three 12s. Three 12s. That's my third 12. Are you adding the plus one for your new plus one bow? Yes, it's all in. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, oh, I don't have my good D20. Poor Marty. You want to go run to your truck real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I am since it's the end of my turn. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Oh, my God. This thing is just going to do another spin to win. Does he have more legendary action? Oh, no. It wasn't been his turn yet. It's going to be Merryweather's turn. My apologies. Um... So would I be smart enough to know if uh, any sort of fire would be effective shooting in water? I would hope so. I mean, it's half effective. <laughs> oh, it, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be as effective. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, Mary is going to. Um, <laughs> he's not going to do that then, obviously, and he is going to throw another ice knife. This one a little bit bigger. All right. Roll the attack. Better not screw me. <sighs> Please. 14. Barely hits. Yeah, roll the... Let me roll the save. <laughs> it makes itself... Makes it... You go ahead and uh, roll me the uh, piercing damage. Oh, it, it makes it... Mm-hmm. Seven... Okay, so Wait, I think we said that it doesn't it doesn't take the damage on a save. Yeah, it doesn't. So you go in, you throw your ice knife. You, oh, can right, I right. See it? Can I see the shark? You can't. So it'd be a disadvantage. Did you roll a disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. I... So you can't really see the shark, but uh, is that one of those spells you have to see? No, I was going to see if I could use the chrono shift and make it re-roll. All right. So you go, you try to do that, and... Sadly, you go ahead and you take your axe and you throw it at him. You see that it actually hits one of the uh, one, one of its tails, but just as it's trying to move around to do the spin to win, it actually right before it bursts, it throws it away. Okay, next would be Sterling. It's a uh, shark's turn. Let's see how smart is it. Please be smart. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> oh no, <laughs> this thing, the devourer. Please bless your child. <laughs> Oh, I'm just so the, I'm just, just here. Just so the chat knows, because they can't see this. Mm -hmm. uh, minus four to intelligence checks. <laughs> Only, nothing has been over a nine. Yet, yeah. and there's been one, two, three, four, five intelligence checks. I believe stream can kind of see it right there. Yeah, they can see it now. Yep. This I'm rolling intelligence to see if I can actually know enough to go away from the darkness and try to attack, keep attacking the ship. However. It's only been blessed with a strong body and two heads, not two brain cells. Brain cells, so I can't do that. <laughs> all right. It's all Maybe right, you should sir. try rubbing them together. Anyway. It's all right. It's going to take two attacks at York. And York, it's a. Yes, and even though it would be disadvantage, York, you see that it actually it's able to instead of moving or bat moving around trying to find you before, it almost finds you straight on but the first hit misses you would think that it would have advantage for some reason it misses uh -oh. the second attack too <laughs> blood frenzy <laughs> the blood mm. wait but you also rolled your die oh no never mind straight cuz you didn't have its didn't have its legendary actions back mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't won't have this turn, turn. same art <laughs> hey so first of all Bonus Spiritual <laughs> kebab. Thirteen straight roll. What was it? Thirteen. Yeah. Just hits. Cool. Uh... Shark skin isn't the toughest skin in the world, you guys. It's just very mean. Uh, Living force damage. Nice. And then full action, we're going to go ahead and cast Guiding Bolt at second level. At you have to see. Uh, for, for Guiding Bolt? Yes. 
I mean, I'm shooting into darkness, so I assume it's a disadvantage. Sure, just a simple... No, but does the spell say a creature you can see within range? It, a uh, uh, creature of your choice within range that, that you can see, that you can. Yeah, a is it... with your choice within range. It does not say anything about seeing. So I'll say since so, you have to see the target, I'll let you do that. Because it is within yeah. range. Alright. So then, still disadvantage, because it is two hit regardless, I assume. Mm -hmm. But either whoa. Whoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's double eighteen. So plus six. That's twenty four to hit. <laughs> Roll the damage. Nice. Fuck me. Okay. There we go. What is that? Five d six. Six d six. Uh, at, at level two. Let me let me do a little shit. Yeah, shit. Um. Five d six. For guiding bolt. Seriously. Oh yes, it is. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Let's see. So one, two, three. Four. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 11, 12, 13. And then one more d6. Uh, 16 radiant damage, and the next attack against it has advantage, or rather, it's just a straight roll All because right. it's in darkness. Yeah, baby. Not anymore, as it finally it's just the one to lay in their action to move it up to its speed. Oh. I rolled a fucking natural 20 for once. Cool. <laughs> wow. What a little shit. Do I get an opportunity attack? Yes, or you do. No, what a little no, shit. No, opportunity attacks, I believe, are only to creature you can see. Gotcha. All right. Man, well, it is glowing now. <laughs> it's gl roll me a d100. Hi, right. uh, yeah. No, a d12. Hi, yeah. We don't okay. use d100 in this household. <laughs> One. You, you don't. Sorry. All right. Well, it's still lit up. It's still lit up for the next one. As it moves over, and you see that you feel the currents going, and you try to go and take a strike at it, but it it misses its tail sadly. As it able to run away over here, and that's its turn. All right, Yorick, your turn. What do you like to do? Uh, you felt it move that way. I felt it move. Yep. Then I'm gonna swim to where I felt it move. You have half movement, so yeah. So I have 20. 20 feet, which means I can go. What am I doing? 5, 10? Or am I going 5, 10, 15, 20? Uh, yeah, that. It's, it's that. Actually, since it's... Uh, yeah, I'll say it's that. Because I don't right. really like the... Sorry, just to chat knows I rule, do diagonals 5. First one's 5, second one's 10. And the third one, 5 again. It's just, uh, it's just better that way, in my opinion. All right, and that's... You want to dash? Yeah, I'll dash if I can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. 25, 30, 35, 40. I can see clearly now. And that's <laughs> the end of my turn. <laughs> hey, that spell put in some work. Better work, bitch. I'm pretty sure if you just go straight like this, you'd make it. Would I? Yes. With your rules? Hold on. So mm -hmm. I was over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 5. 30, 20, 20, 25. 20, 30. Yeah, you make it. You could make it. Okay. You now, I have, to, I have to hit in oh, order to grapple, so. correct? I think so. That's part of it. After me, you can attack. Read the rules. And anyhow, I'm it's going to be... Look. It's probably well, going to be that. Um, well, he does that. Martyr, what would you like to do? Well, he's underneath the boat now, ain't he? Wait! It just says on your turn you may use a bonus action to attempt go. to grapple a creature. Roll the grapple. Yeah, I don't have to attack him. I will. Yeah, I'll grapple him. You might do it, boo boo. It. Do you it. I actually grapple it. Do it, boo boo. Eleven. You have advantage no. of raging and you are out of darkness. It's a four. He rolled a fourteen. He rolled a six on the die plus eight. I rolled with advantage and I got a three and a five. <laughs> oh no, baby. Oh well. You just you go in and you. You swim forward, taking all you can, and you're trying to use that momentum. You try to go gra grasp at it, and you sadly, the skill's a little bit too slimy, and you're unable to actually find perches on the hide. Would that use up the glow from the gutting bolt, or nah, is that no. just the advantage? Fair enough. All right, and now it's going to use its two legendary actions to do another sp uh, spin to win. Dexterity saving throw? Yep. I can see. Advantage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I rolled two fives, so seven. 
<laughs> oh no. You, you uh, fail it and you take 11 points of slashing damage. As, as you guys go and you feel the shark move around, it bumps the ship a little bit. But then afterwards, you see it sort of trash under, and the ship actually moves right, almost taking in water as the ship takes 11 points of uh, piercing, slashing damage as well. Oh, wow. Shit. That's not fair. And it's one over to over the damage threshold. Damn. And that's all it's still in reaction. Next is top of the round, Sterling. What can I do? It'll um, be a flat roll since it's glowing from uh, from the guiding bolt. He's under the boat. He's under the boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, you can go to, you can just jump out of the boat and start taking attacks that way. I mean, yeah, that's like, that's brilliant. I could totally jump out of the boat. Sterling, yeah. hold yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hold an attack for when he mm -hmm. is visible again. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, you can. You're writing an action to see uh, an attack action before you see him. All right. Yep. Okay. I'm doing that. I'm going to end my turn. And uses all the turn derby actions already. So, Murray Weather. Murray is going to steer the boat. Where? And, you uh, go he's going to steer it so that the shark is over here. Okay. We have clear view of him. And I am right here. No. I can see him right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Uh, you should put yourself like in the edge, just over uh, till you do that, just so you can get a clear so, view on it. All right. Is it straight a straight roll? roll? He's in the. He's underwater. Yeah, but, but he's also yeah, but got the guiding uh, bolt effect on him, so he's glowing like a fucking Christmas tree. Okay, so it straight rolls it. Get it. Right. Sharpshooter, baby, come on. Do it. That one. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're gonna, him, you're gonna give Come him the reroll? Please tell me it's not 30 feet within 30 feet. That's oh, gonna be no. Sad. Is it within 30 feet? <laughs> Damn it! It's within 30 feet. Are you joking? Wait, where's the helm on this boat? Look at it's like, where Merryweather is. Him. It was where Merryweather is. It's where he is. <sighs> you're 35 feet away. <laughs> oh my god. Just so chat knows, uh, Merryweather has an ability that causes can, that can give somebody a, a reroll. On a check or attack or save, within uh, as long as they're within thirty feet. Sadly, he's Sterling is thirty five feet away. God damn it! It's so annoying. <laughs> and that wastes the guiding uh, the guiding bolt on it. Yep. Uh, effect. Shit. Murrayweather, uh, you already moved. Use the action to move, right? Uh, you have a bonus. I'll let you have a bonus if you want to cast any. If you have any bonus action spells. Uh, I don't believe I really have any bonus action spells. Let me take. A let's see. Just a okay. short little, short little look. Um, yeah, no, nothing that I want to use. All right, it's the, uh, it's the avatar is in the maw. Okay, York, you're here. You're tasty. Is gonna go after you again, with advantage. Tasty. Natural twenty. First attack. Second. Attack. What is that to <laughs> hit? Uh, twenty. Re it has a plus eight, and it rolled a nineteen on the other yeah, So. He's going uh, to re-roll that. So it has a 28 and 20. Uh, which one? The natural 20. All right. It still hits. What do you mean? Because I rolled an, uh, I rolled the second attack, and it was a uh, 19 on the die. And I'll just re-roll it again. Let's see, But you don't have the crit anymore? Yeah, I don't have the trick crit, but it still hits. Actually, 17. It barely hits you, right? Uh, yeah, 17 barely hits. Damn. Okay, so you take two attacks, no crits. Alright. Okay, this is not that bad, honestly. It's just a uh, 21 piercing. Alright, as he bites into me, I'm gonna stone's endurance. I'm gonna flex up and kind of uh, knock his teeth out of my body. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get... 15 points reduced from that, so, okay, so six, 6 points of piercing. Half to 3. Half to 3. And then you take uh, 9 points of... So it takes, it goes in, try to bite at you, and you easily, you think, oh no. And then you're able to flex yourself and tense yourself enough that it's unable to do as much damage as you wish. And then it goes in, it goes in for the tail attack. Bam! Does 9 points of damage, half to 4. As yeah. You already take that, and you're already, already tensed up. So you're the... All the force from the tail is actually dispersed throughout your body and doesn't do as much damage as you'd like. Bloop, bloop, now, 
Now would it oh, be, do uh, I have to make a concentration check for holding my breath? Nah, that's not a thing. Okay. okay. Same one. I move my uh, I move my spiritual kebab over to go ahead and skewer this thing in one of its two heads. I don't think you can. it only has a movement speed of twenty feet. Yeah, you can move it over. <laughs> Gets closer. Yes. <laughs> little by little. <sighs> and I told the dead. All right, you can see it. So wisdom saving throw. Might actually... Minus four wisdom. Hey, it has a plus two wisdom. It's a uh, thirteen. Fuck. Still fails. He one fails it. Necrotic damage. Roll so, twelve. Come on, no balls, no balls, no balls, no balls, no balls. Eight necrotic damage. Nice. nice. All right, it's close to being bloodied. Yep, and the spectral kebab is closer to it now. I guess. I think it's around here-ish. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, one's cocked, but it was really good. I have to re-roll it. Oh, but it's still okay. So 16 and 15, 15 plus 6. It's going to hit anyway. I don't know mm -hmm. math. It's going to hit him, and it's going to be uh, uh, 13 points of piercing damage, and I'm going to grapple him. <laughs> we can try. Oh, shit. He, he did a good counter roll. I got a 15. 21. Yeah. All right. So Sorry. Thirteen plus eight. Else anyway. I got a nine plus six. Oh, you guys are actually pretty close together. You just your advantage is doing nothing for you. I know, but like my last roll. Okay, so I rolled a fifteen, and then my cocked die was nineteen. So I had to pick it up. <laughs> um, regardless, I rolled it again, and it was a sixteen. So I was like, oh great! So I rolled three great numbers. And here I am rolling below 10 on two dice. So. Sorry, man. And let's see. It's going to Martyr. What do you like to do? I have a question about the whole disadvantage because it's in the water thing. Oh Is it God, because it's of the cover? It's, um, it's uh, ranged weapon attacks are, uh, are a disadvantage just because it's not in the, uh, you just go to the water. Okay. Do you have a crossbow, a net, or a javelin that you like to use instead? I don't, I don't, I don't have any of that. If anybody oh, okay. has a crossbow, you. <laughs> you would have, be able to shoot without disadvantage. Gotcha. All right, well, here we go, sharpshooter. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's put some hits on it. And Yuri gets one day for healing because Bit don't know. <sighs> Fucking 13. Hits? It hits. to die. Okay. Was that, was that sharpshooter? That was sharpshooter. Good. Okay. It's gonna be uh, over bloody then. <laughs> okay. Oh well. So it is. Four and your plus, plus one to damage as well. In. Yeah. And plus one to hit. Plus one longbow, dude. He's been adding a yeah. plus one to hit. Yeah, 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 yeah he's been adding that. So it's shit. I, well, it's like it's automatic. So I got ten plus ten, which is twenty, and then my hunter's mark, which was four, so twenty-four damage. All right. Nice. That's Hell the yeah. cannon we were looking for. Yeah, baby. It's very Bitches bloody. Bitches love cannons. Sterling's a bitch. So very four bloody. shots, one hit. Four shots. Smile, you killer. son of a bitch. Okay, so Sterling, you go in. You take not an hour to your bow. You have missing so much. This one, you take extra care. And you aim right between the two necks, right where they meet. And you're able to hit them. It goes in. You can barely even see the fletching. It goes in so deep. And, he's, and at least York, you hear... You can feel in your bones the uh, cry of the shark did, but you cannot hear because I don't think that's how it works in the water. But <laughs> next, it it's bloodied. Stupid. Look at that thick boy. You think he's going to go down after one hit, good hit? Yeah, it's probably Shit, got one HP. Cheesed. No, bloodied is half damage. It's half HP, you guys. It's not. Oh, Shit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It's not like it's one. It's a. It's fighting over yet, though. You guys did half of it HP and damage. All right. Nice. Next would be Meriwether. <laughs> Mary's going to run over to the side of the ship. Mm-hmm. So with... It's not going to work here, and he's going to pop a hot pepper in his mouth. 
And that's his on his bonus action is going to cast Dragon's Breath. Mm-hmm. All right. And for his action, he's going to unleash. He's going to just kind of look up and then unleash a 15 foot cone of lightning down into the water towards the shark. All right, a deck save, right? Yes. Lightning damage in water. Well. That's a, that's a 12 on the die. A 12 total, sorry. Uh, that's fail, so he takes... Is he taking any additional... Actually, because... he's going to use his lander distance to succeed. Okay, well, he still takes half. Yep. And Why not? Going... You guys haven't really done saves on him. That's going to be... Oh, I've done a few. Half to six. Like... Yeah, but yours was a cantrip. <laughs> six, right? And also, I didn't notice that it had linear resistance until just now. <laughs> it's a. It, oh boy. Apologies, I was uh, I didn't really need to be better at uh, not, at my scrolling thing. It was right at the top of it, and it was cut off. At least it only gets back its legendary actions on each turn, not the resistance. Mm -hmm. Back up a little bit, and then that's it. All right, now it's its turn. It's going to take two more attacks at you, York. What a dick. The first one is a 23. Mm. Hits. Oh. Second one's a 16. Misses! <laughs> oh. And you rolled with advantage, right? Yep. It was a 5 and an 8 on the die. You still All take right. 24 points of slashing damage. Period. All right. To 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as it goes, Yorick, as it goes, you see that it's it's a little bit angry after getting hit by the arrow, and it goes in. Try to it, it goes in with the, with one bite. <sighs> it's able to get a hold of your arm for a little bit. You're able to knock it off, but it still is a lot, quite a little bit of blood. Blood goes down, and it's a little bit too. You see, it licks it. It would lick its lip if it had lips, as it goes <laughs> in with the tail. But you're able to easily. You're able to easily move back <clears throat> as you're holding your hand. Uh, let's see. Next would be. You order it. Say mark. <laughs> oh, Samar? Yep. Shit. Okay, Samar. <laughs> Bonus action. <laughs> you get uh, there. Moving the, uh, you know, the finger jinger over, over, over the two heads, and it's gonna get smacked with the finger jinger because I can speak words. Spiritual ass weapon. Uh. Well. Oh, actually, no. I'll save that for after my first action. Oh. So, first, I'm gonna cast guiding bolt at first, uh, at first level. All right. Roll the attack. All right. Let's see. I love my die so much. That is a 16 to hit. Hits. Roll damage. All right. And holy shit, that's good. Uh, so 22 points of radiant damage. Nice. Advantage on the next attack against it, and that's where the spiritual weapon comes in with advantage to hit. Damn, using your advantage? Yeah. Natural Please do. Natural I'll waste it. <laughs> 20. Natural 20. I shit you not. Oh All my right. god. Roll the damage. Of course, my last session with you guys is having some absurd good luck. Okay. 2d8. Here's <laughs> That makes a total of, because I can't do math in my brain, uh, 15 force damage. Okay. That's right. No D&D &D player can do math. <laughs> All right. So you go that in, you, you, you uh, raise your finger, you point it at him. You get a beam of darkness, but in the darkness, you see the twinkling of light of what looks to be starlight. And it hits him, and you see that a silver glow start emitting from him. And you, with your kebab, take advantage of the glow, and you're able to hit him right next to the arrow that sort of hit him right in between the two tr tr neck trunks. And you do quite a bit of damage. All right, next. Hell save. yeah. And now it's going to do a legendary to action to spin to win. Save. Natural 20, natural 1. Uh, <laughs> so I save. Yep. <laughs> you take nothing. Uh, however... 
The hole takes 13 points of damage. Oof, shit. How bad is a hole looking by now, by the way? Is it bloody or woody? It's, or bl it's woody. It's woody. Okay. It's splintered. All right. It has about a third of itself left. This oh. not good. Uh -oh. You're just gonna lose all his gold because it's gonna sink. All right. It's gonna sleep with the fishies. And you take half damage of that, so you take six. Half six three. damage. Half, half three six again. Three. <laughs> all righty. Okay, that's that. York. I grip my great axe. DM. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling reckless. All right. And I'm feeling inspired. Oh. Do it. Time for you to roll two natural ones. Do it. Two fives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have inspiration? That's why you just used. But anyway. But it's I'm going to grapple. grapple it. <laughs> I cast emotional support. <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna get him this time. You might. Holy shit. What's 24. Your, what's your 12. attack bonus? Come here, you little bitch. I'm gonna wrap my arm around it finally. I'm gonna like headlock one of its heads. Mm -hmm. I raise my great axe in the air and I'm just looking at him. Ah. Damn, and it uh, was gonna use its action to swim away from you to right there. But, Mar Sterling, what do you like to do? I'm going to do the same thing that I Looking always good. do because I'm Sterling True Shot and I shoot shot of shit. Shoot shot of. Mm -hmm. It misses. Free roll. You're within 30 Free feet. Free roll. Yeah, Wait, are you within 30 feet now? You moved yeah. us? Okay. I need to move. Uh, Re roll. Resistances, so that's not going to help us much. <laughs> I cast uh, emotional is support. Just, is this one roll or is it disadvantage again? Yeah, is it disadvantage again? Re roll and disadvantage. Uh, let me read over that thing real quick. But it roll one one die and we'll see if it's uh what what we'll see. Wait, are you using luck? Using chroma shift. Oh, okay. Different you thing. can re roll, so I would let it's one roll, I'd say. Oh hit. Right. Uh sixteen plus five. Okay, let's do the damage then. Thank you for the reroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the use right. both of yours is what I'm looking at. Mary Weather. Oh no, they're both gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. 25 damage. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's looking, it's looking pretty bad, y'all, for it. <laughs> and All right. that, uh, I'm gonna move. Down one. Okay, to be sure you're within 30 feet. Oh, yeah, move down two. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're All gonna right. keep within. Merryweather. Uh, after seeing Sterling take that great shot, I'm gonna say, Yes, let's take this bastard out. And I'm going to cast it's... a second level magic missile. Let's cook it for dinner. Um, I need and one this, this shouldn't be. Well, it just hits. Yeah, it just hits. Just hits. It just works. It works. It's come magic. On. Just and missiles. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I need a screenshot of that face he made. 16 full damage. You can go back into All the right. pod. That was... That's pretty good, guys. <laughs> All right. Three, four, two, <laughs> and then plus four. Okay, it's, nice. it's turn, so it's going to try to break the grapple. Not. Dirty 20. <laughs> the one. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, big boys. That was his action. Yeah, it's an action, and that's it. That's all it can do. You don't want to use this legendary. It has to be an other, pe to... other people's turn. Same more. Second verse, same as the first. Guiding bolt at first level. Right. And that is a plus what exactly? Because it's a natural. 
<laughs> it's over 10, you hit him. <sighs> Plus 6. 17 to hit. Hits. Oh. Ah, shit. No, my okay, not as good as the last time around, but... <laughs> Ten radiant damage. All right, it's looking pretty bad. Roll the your and bonus action spiritual weapon with advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm a dirty, dirty fucker. It's all right. <laughs> Sixteen. To hit or damage? To hit, right? Uh, to hit. If it's mm -hmm. twelve force damage. Hmm. Mm -hmm. York, it's looking pretty bad. Oh, I'm oh feeling God. reckless. I'm feeling good about where I'm sitting right now. Oh, an 18 to hit. <laughs> Roll damage, I think. Fucking you... finally. Oh my God. No. <laughs> it's seven. It's minimum damage. How do you like to do this? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm holding him, right? I got mm -hmm. him in my. Let me just make sure I'm on. on yeah, you're holding the left. <laughs> oh. I think. <laughs> there we go. I got him in my in my grasp, and I got the bit. I got the battle axe in my hand, and I get there, and I raise it up, and I say nighty night, and I want to right in the middle between the two heads where they split and i want to dig in and then i want to take my free hand and i want to and i want to hit the, the 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 shaft of my battle axe and send it in deeper all right and you see that the tr the middle of the trunk has been quite weakened with all your you know, with your battle axe and you actually going in with your hand you're able to decapitate the left the right sorry the left one no i ain't decapitating i'm hooking Okay, okay. I'm hooking it so that I yeah, can swim up. Yeah, let's this fucking thing with us. Climb on the boat and pull it on the boat. Roll me an athletics boat. check. Holy I'm shit. I'm still raging. Yes, you are. Fuck. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, let me, let me. He is a goliath, which means he can carry more weight than the typical medium creature. It's a huge creature, you guys. Yeah, I can I grapple up, to, these big up to two sizes larger than myself. Yes, there's a... So sure you can grapple to a larger size than yourself. However, there's a weight limit. Um, yes. if, I, if I can take away 500 pounds of that, can he <laughs> lift it up? If so, I'll <laughs> the <floating> desk. <laughs> You're a little bit too far away, and sadly, what? you... Bitch, you are... <laughs> You're not right next to him? <laughs> Bitch, you are. Oh, you can't roll the cool this way. Can really I just not? try it again after six seconds? So, can I, like... after, I, w I would say that you go in, you're, you're trying to swim up with him, but he's actually pulling you down. So you can roll another one if you want. You'll have to say make okay. two, two to actually get to the boat. Can I you begin? fashion like a rope arrow with my rope that I have on can me? Can we all try and haul and a Yorick up while he's trying to haul the shark Okay, <laughs> 20, 25. Okay. Fine, you, you get you get it. I'll, I'll give you that. The first pull actually t made the boat rock over and almost capsize. The mm -hmm. second pull, I put my back into it, and I lift it up and I put it in the boat. All right. <sighs> you actually, the boat goes in. You guys actually goes down of like a like six inches under on all the way. And as you guys feel like it's, you're kind of at the very edge of your cargo capacity <laughs> with a huge corpse. By the way, what did you do with the bullet corpse? Is it still there? Or did you just throw it overboard? Oh, uh, we did. I, I don't think we would have. Oh, kept shit. It. Yeah. What corpse? The bullet. The they, one uh, that popped out of my stomach. Cargo capacity, mm. half a ton, so a thousand pounds. Hmm. With that twenty-five, I feel like I will give it to you guys. You just—I would say dip, you'd have. It will take you another day to actually get back to Salt Marsh. As okay. You're a little okay. Bit slower. All right. I will reward <laughs> your rolls. 
<laughs> now, with how damaged well. the ship is, is it actually taken on water? Or is it I, okay? I believe it, uh, how it works is that as long as it's not at zero, and you still can go around. You still can go. And I, nobody has... Nobody can repair the ship if I'm, if I remember right. Yeah, none of us are a boat swing. All right. So you I see that the cook. So you see <laughs> that the bottom do. has a few holes, but it, you guys taking a little bit of some planks, so you're able to do it, <clears> take enough, and with a few buckets every few hours to take away all the water that's inside, you're able to. Receive thieves in this. <laughs> you're able to. Yeah, I would say you're able to still have, still have. Uh, speed to get back to salt marsh, but you're not gonna sink. <laughs> At least you think you won't. All right. Shit. <laughs> Yorick, you went to bed. Oh wait, no shit. <laughs> okay. Long rest. Are we good? I think we're good. Let's take the long rest. Hey. At night, did we make it out? Are we? Are we? Are we, ro- are we? Are we rolling? It's I knew that spell would do That's some like... good. I told you. <laughs> I don't have to take a long rest if we need to have somebody just stay up. Yeah. And at the, the beginning of the day, I'm going to cast a mage armor on myself and let's get back to the thing. Back to Saltmarsh! Back, right. back to Saltmarsh! Roll me another uh, intelligence Sailing. check. I need proficiency. Perception as well. Let's go ahead and do some shit. Hey, uh, I would bad. like to also do perception sh- stuff too. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> then we'll just leave that as one roll. 20. Okay. 20 what? Well, yes, 21 for the navigation. All right. 22 for the perception. All right, all right, all right. The, the day goes by without issue. You get the sense that this, uh, the mob of the devourer has actually taken, uh, this was his territory now that you had defeated it and maybe eat it going to eat it it uh there's not really anything around that would cause you trouble last roll last roll one yes. more set of rolls it took us a day okay. longer wow. anyone else want to cover the perception my shield is non-attunement i can hand it to someone who's taking that watch that's cool. I, mean, I have really good perception Why then you you'll get advantage call? for a moment okay yeah okay. I'll do that. What was that, eight. eight is that an eight i hear Oh, 18. Uh, 11 plus 7. <laughs> that disappointed sigh. Nat 20. Hey! All right. <laughs> I was without issue. <laughs> I was making to salt marsh. I don't get to kill boat. you guys. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> it would have been another TPK, NTPK. <laughs> no, 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 no. By the way, good... Good on that subclass, because you hadn't grappled, it would have just start, it would just have destroyed y'all's boats. Yeah, right? Yeah. That darkness Holy spell shit. probably saved our ass early on for the that. The one too. time All darkness gold. worked. <laughs> yeah. And it's never going to be casted again. Oh, once we hit level 17, that shit's going to be abused. No shit. Uh, if we hit level 17. If well, actually, we did. I won't be here for that. So never mind. This is my last session with you guys. Damn. Either way. Shatter with all the with all the uh, all the spice here, like. Fuck. So we can't Shatter. abuse that. Shatter's like sorry, at level guys. 17. We can't. Aha. Jk. Unless. Ooh woo. <laughs> I cast uh-huh. bulgy Wolgy. No. No. I, I yeah. cast locate bulgy Wolgy. Yikes. I cast cover the children's eyes. <laughs> what about their ears? No, they need to hear it. Because it's always here, it's all right. That is hard because it's always here. Oh, yeah. Poor, poor bird. The original Gilzadul rolls in her grave. The OG, yeah. As she rolls, she accidentally falls out of the grave because we didn't dig it that deep and it's sand. And, and rises as a revenant. Roll movie. initiative. <laughs> Right. She comes for your. Flesh. You guys make your way to port. Your poor boat, uh, threading water, barely making it there. And whew, you guys go in, and you one of the pirates. Like, what happened to you guys? Huh. We've got something for the harbor. I'm gonna slowly <laughs> yank. I'm gonna yank the shark. Ugh. 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 
We have caught something very pretty. I'm going to start getting it onto the pier. Shark fin suit? <laughs> we don't do that. Shark but, um, fin suit? <laughs> but you go and you take out the thing. You see that it hits and you feel the, uh, you feel the thunder, the sound of a thousand pound boy, that a thousand pounds hitting the deck. And all the people that are there, it's about... I would say it was about 2 p.m. You see the people that are the guys who would be uh, unloading the fish, the fishing boats who are there and waiting for the catcher come in. Sees that and they're a few like, whoa, damn, where do you get this? Damn, uh, 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 well, the uh, captain uh, needs to know. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, how much? So much for the information, you guys? Like, you know. I never tell my secrets. If you would like to know, come to Yorick's Meats and Pastries and Friends. Yes. <laughs> and maybe put some donations forth for um, upgrading the stall as you arrive as well. Yes. Or the ship. No. <laughs> well, let's you know. Yes. There are upgrades for your ship. So you can buy a new ship as well. Yeah. I don't want to upgrade the ship because it's a piece of shit. So... <laughs> It's probably, a piece of yeah. It's a piece of ship. Upgrade your ship. Yeah, we should probably get a better ship. <laughs> yes, let's well, get it's a cheaper, dreadnought. Though. Upgrading shall or we? getting a better ship. I mean, and we need a proper crew. Yeah. Yes. Well, we don't need a crew right now because we have a shitty ship. But if we get a better ship, then we will need a crew. Well, then let's just upgrade this a... ship so we don't need the crew. You're gonna need a lot of friendship gold. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of friendship. I don't know what you're thinking. I bet we don't have like necromancers. We could just, you know, you almost skeletons. We just need ten thousand gold, guys. <laughs> you just there. need ten thousand gold, we guys. Need 10, Whoa, living on a prayer. We could just pocket change. Living on a prayer. Let me just pull that out of my ass real quick for you, Ty. <laughs> okay, Mr. Dean, how much experience <laughs> did we get from that? Enough. So oh we'll yeah, shit. It. Let me uh, look at the thing real quick. Let's let's wait until we calculate it all. It's We're enough to level get up. Some more XP. I, I, it's enough to level up. Trust me. Uh, one thousand two hundred and fifty. Wow. Each? What the yep. shit? Hmm. I'm counting in enough. your quest completion bonus as well. Oh. Oh okay. Oh, that's not enough. That's the, we're short by. Um, like 80. Then you get enough to level up. All right, <laughs> add 87. <laughs> yeah, uh, level five. You can change. Here we go. Level three spells. All right, so what are we going to do now? Well, We're on I sweet, sweet really land <laughs> away from the sharkies. I rolled a four for my health. Someone kill me. Okay, be there in a sec. Thanks, baby girl. girl. I'm I going to commission a ferry house? off of this island, I suppose. Mm -hmm. After doing a few nights of stargazing and bid my friends farewell. <laughs> After all, I took quite the interest in an older uh, lizard folk. Mm -hmm. Don't leave us. Why? I do leave them with all of my money. Oh. Oh. And how much is that? They will. Well, let me see. As I'm keeping track of our inventory. Uh, since I feel like I'm going to go ahead and settle down for a more steady source of income, aside from apparently a war with the Sahagan. Um, <laughs> let's see. Do, 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 equipment and currency. I have 1,239 gold. Wow. Wow. Split that amongst the three of yourselves. Giving which us I believe can be split gold. evenly between three people. It can. Funny it's how that worked four, out. Four one three. Four one three. Four hundred thirteen gold for everybody. Alrighty. Is this like in Critical Role and every time they get a guest, they just pickpocket them and loot them for everything they have? Well, for once the guest <laughs> offered you their coffers. <laughs> it's just the one time they offered it all. Yeah. 
this has been really fun, guys. It really has. I do hope that whoever comes in to replace my slot uh, can make this all the more so. And uh, I bet you guys the best of luck with the rest of this stream, assuming this doesn't end the session. It doesn't. I have uh, actually prepared a three-sided uh, thing for Zoom, so. All right. Well, Say I'll more. stick around for a bit then. <laughs> Say more. Yes. If you need anything, just know that we are always here. I'll be sure to uh, stop by uh, the restaurant when I can with some new recipes. Of Give course. The chance. I would be nothing without you. Say more. <laughs> oh, don't sell yourself short. That's my job. Say <laughs> more. Uh, before you leave, would you like to? Would you like us to plant one of our magical beans in honor of your departure? <laughs> Fuck it. If this goes wrong, I still have spells left. All right. Especially since I'm long rested. <laughs> Yorick, would you like to plant one of the beans? Of course. Let me go plant the bean. It summons a beholder tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Sam, oh, I believe that's a thing. Roll me a down 100. Me? Oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yes, Samar, I have a, you can... I have a reputation for rolling natural ones that destroy continents in my homebrew setting. You know this, right? Look, the, anyway. roll a 61. We'll, no, see. No. we'll see what happens. No, don't. <laughs> That's okay. easy. I can take it on uh, by myself. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. nudge. No more bullets. <laughs> uh, summons a fursuit. So, 58. Yeah, that got close. Mm -hmm. All right, My so. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Okay, so 10 bright pink toads going from the, uh, tr make their way out of the sand, each one crawling forth, and you s notice them hopping about, one of them making their, one of them making their way to you, the other one's making their way to the sea. Aww. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want to grab it and pick it up and cuddle it. <laughs> you know what? Since it seems like a bit of a pattern with this group, name it Smar. Mm -hmm. See you later. <laughs> it did leave. Had to name it Seymour. Hello, Seymour. And thanks, Margaret, for the $5. <laughs> All right. Love well, you guys. Thank you for this brief stint in a wonderful you? game. Okay. Enjoy I, the rest I, of that session. I am rolling the thing right now. Let's see. And it turns into a... What? Hey, so things happen. Let's see? Seymour might going? stay for this or not? <laughs> he left. Oh, he oh left. he's already gone. Mm -hmm. All right, transition. My there transition. Oh, because I'm watching the stream. <laughs> and it buffered a few times. Damn it. That's right. Big Let's rip. see. Well, actually, you guys are, as you hold oh, it, you see that it's a... Oh no. Oh, that's so boring. <laughs> it turns into a deer. <laughs> Wait, what? It, it turns into a deer. Into a deer? <laughs> yeah, as you go in and you start holding it, you touch it, and you see that it turns. It actually shies away from your touch a little bit, and it starts to uh, form. You see that it go, blows up into its back with a very big bubble. And from that bubble, that pink bubble, a deer goes out, gets out, and makes its way out of the corpse of the giant frog. I'm now a giant frog. Seymour, no! <laughs> Wait, what did the other nine turn into? The, nobody touched the nine. The window went to the sea. So it turned into a deer, jumped out of my arms. It's No, it jumped out of your arms because uh, you touched it. So it, it's still around. As you see it go around, look, look down. It goes back to your stall and try to see if it, because it smells something it can eat. Oh my god, it's a magical pet, you guys. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab one of the, a piece of the shark meat that we probably still have. Um, and by the way, I wanted to chop the head off of the shark meat and put it on top of the stall. So the okay. two heads intact, just sitting on top of the stall. Um, and I want to give feed the deer some shark meat. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, you feed the deer some shark meat. You see that... I believe, like most herbivores, they're opportunistic uh, 
meat eaters. It uh, shakes away a little bit, but smells it and nibbles on it and eats it just fine. And you want me an item on handling check, actually? Sure. I am good at those. Not really. Damn it. It would have been so great if, you ever, if, if I hadn't rolled that. I know, right? Um, ten. Ten. Okay, you see that it eats... You see it gobbles it down a little bit, but it, you get the sense that it actually wants to go back, go over north to where the trees are and leave the beach. And it stays around for a little bit as it hopes for more food, but it... I think, doesn't it stay around for a minute? No, it stays around forever. Really? I thought it... No, because monster remains for one minute, then disappears in a puff of bright pink smoke. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So Aww. then as, you, as you're as you feeding it, it then just disappears, and you see that a little bit of uh, food that you gave it just falls down, partially digested. <laughs> oh. Well, that was cute as shit. It's so sad. Oh, so goodbye, sad. Mr. Deer. I will miss you. Yeah, damn it. Well, by the way, one of the other options for... Yes, you guys know, meta. The other option was a CR-14 Death Pack Angel. That would have uh, done That would have done a lot of damage for one minute. A what? Which one is this? It's an evil angel. <laughs> Death Pack Angel. No, no, no. Which one's the number? No, because I rolled a d20. Oh, and... for the... It turns into a creature. Yeah. Holy mm. shit. Sorry, uh, we could have taken it. A death angel for a yeah, minute? Yes, you guys know. It has a plus 9 to hit. It does 2d4 plus 4 damage along with 68 on a hit. And it can do nope. that twice. It's fine. It's fine. Nope. It also has it's a DC-19 charisma saving throw. Become paralyzed for one minute. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, this is boring. A deer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was so close. Oh, well. But like beyond it. that, you, as you go back to your soul, you notice three things of interest. You mm -hmm. see one note. Oh, oh no. You see uh, one particular note. Hopefully, stream is back up. Fine. Yes, it is. You see one particular note is titled From Mama to You. And it it basically says, uh, paragraph said, to come back to her stall as it's time to pay back what you owe me. You guys owe me some favors. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. And next to that, you also see one from, you, uh, sorry, you see one from uh, Anders and it says, I just soon as convenient, please see me at my manor. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go see mama. What's the third thing? Third thing, you see that scratched in as if by someone's claw. There's that, uh, uh, please see me late tricks. The tricks. She scratched into the thing? Yeah, into, into the uh, stall. stall. What a bitch! Yeah. She That's... has to pay for the damages. She damaged the property. <laughs> I want to go see Mama first. Can we go see Mama? Yes, let's go see Mama. 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 All right. Hey, we're gonna go see Mama. <laughs> With my jingling coin bags outside, <laughs> all, all like fifteen of them. All right. So you go in. You make your way over. And let me just do this real quick. You make your way to Mama, and you see that, uh... Are you not leaving anybody in the stall? I mean, I mean... we close very often. All right. I guess I'll go to Mama. No, I don't no. know. How much gold I got? I probably got nothing but shit. Okay, you make your way to Mama. You knock on the door, and you here come in. Hello, Mama. It is me. I am here. I have many prizes and riches. What do you have for me? Oh, baby, come see Mama. 
I miss y'all so much. So, you want the fa you want the house special, or you want the full price? <laughs> I don't even want to What do you anymore. have for sale today? Uh, let's see what has Jates given Mama to give to you. I have this potion, and you, she takes out a potion. It's a uh, y'all some big strong men fighting some very scary monsters. I mean, y'all could really use this. After a few little, after a few minutes, it'll just bind your wounds, heal you up. And it's so uh, mechanically speaking, well, potion of stamina, homebrew. Uh, you can take a short rest in five minutes if you drink it. Mmm. Nice. Catnap potion. Better la, la. than a catnap potion. Better. <laughs> Tyrant was just, Ooh, that sucks! <laughs> How much is it? Uh, for you, 250 Oh my goodness, that's a lot. What else do you have? I mean, it has two doses inside, baby. Oh. Uh I like the shiny things. What else do you have? Let's see. Uh, you have that. I don't think you could use an upgrade. That little, the little bib doesn't really do you any favors, dear. And she shows My you. My bib. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she shows us what? Shows you a. Uh, a dark. Uh, crap! What the hell is it called for? <laughs> for when people apron. cook apron. apron there you go <laughs> I'm sorry you guys English is my second language <laughs> that's okay what's the Spanish word for apron we don't use that <laughs> <laughs> what's an apron Spanish word for apron fuck you yeah and you see that it she brings out a a Dark, dark red leathery apron, and you see that you, some of in covering in blood it says, "Come at me," in the words right where the chest would be. No. No, that is very interesting. How much is this? For you, let me see. Whatever the price is for, right? We're like uh, two thousand gold. Why not? Ooh, my heart. Oh, I mean, look at it. It's so pretty. It will look so good on you. It shows, oh, it shows up those gorgeous packs of yours. Mama, it is so pretty. I understand. I know. And I do like a little chest bump stuff. I'm um, not too fat. To try do it. Now. Why don't you try it? Uh, what is it with the mama discount? A thousand. Hmm. Okay. I will take that with the mama discount, but I will do you a favor. But just so you know, I belong to Matrona, so no favors for that. Oh, baby, that's just a small favor. This would be a big favor, Anna. That's I, another price. Mm hmm. I will do that. Now, I was also thinking, I am having so much trouble. You know, I take out great axe. Mm -hmm. I, I swing, and I swing, and I swing, and I just don't hit. It, oh, it, it happens to guys sometimes, and now Mom will fix that right up. <laughs> now, if you can, is there a way that we can? I can get one of these, but it's a little bit better. Oh, well... Nobody say mama's a home wrecker. I mean, somebody do say that, but they're lying. <laughs> oh, they are lying. Sure, I'm sure I have one of those somewhere hidden. And she goes down and bends down. And as she bends down, you see that she, oh no, I just can't do that. And she's wiggling her hips around, at aiming at Meriwether. <laughs> and it's like, I think this is what you wanted there now. And she pulls out a great axe. And you see that uh, instead of being like a full thing, you see that it actually has the bottom left and bottom right edges are actually going into a spiral right where they meet the hilt. 
It's uh, made out of a really dark, dark green wood that, uh, I mean, you guys probably don't know, honestly. You, nobody has herbalism. A very dark, dark green wood. And you see that the actual blade, uh, actually, it's made out of iron, but it's etched in a bluish, silvery gold, where some of the magical runes would be. Mm-hmm. And how much would that be? <sighs> 500, just for ya. I can do that. So 1,500 gold. All right. What about you two? Mama, give mama some love too. <laughs> <laughs> you take trade in. Oh, that's a little bit boring, but sure. I have uh, a few items that uh, I'd like to sell to you, um, and. I'll produce them. It's just a sapphire, uh, some earrings, and a necklace. The total value is 650 gold. She takes some of the one that from Yorick's. Is that all? I mean, it's very pretty sapphire you're giving me, but... Oh, Mama, do you think I would come to you and not ask for something else? What do you take me for? Sorry, what was that at the end? I said, what do you take me for? <sighs> well, no, I like you for a reason. So, what do you want from Mama today? <laughs> uh, let me consider. <laughs> uh, Sterling, is there anything in here that might catch your eye? I don't know, is there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you look around. It's a little bit dark, as these are the back of the shop. Not, not a uh, not magical darkness, but sorry. Not so magical. much magical darkness. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> I can't see through magical darkness. You actually see one gem in particular that's actually glowing throughout the not magical darkness, as well oh. as well as a. Mm, some bracers. Right under so, the gem that's glowing. Some bracers? <laughs> I see some bracers there that uh, I might be interested in. What do these things do? Well, some of y'all have problems with doing the deed and hitting hard. <laughs> This will help you a little bit. And let's see, you use very long bows, you know? Uh, yes, that is my proficiency. Help, I'll help your arrows stick harder and deeper. <laughs> it's, a, it's a braces of archery. Braces of archery. Braces of archery. And what will such an item cost me? Same as the same as the apron that you got. It will be what's two thousand gold. <laughs> That's too expensive for me. Oh baby, I know. I just don't have that much money. Um, uh, do you need assistance with paying for something? Yes, I do. Well, would you like to come to your shop and do me a favor? You're going to kind of like imitate what Mama does. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> what favor do you want? <laughs> oh, there are so many favors that I want. For an easy, how much do you need? <laughs> I, I, I need about. Mm, 2,000 gold. I'm sorry. How much gold do you have? <clears throat> Why do you have no gold? I don't know how much gold I have. That's my problem throughout this whole thing. I'm like, who has the gold? It's not me. We've been handing it out like after every session. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. I have a hundred. You know what? That's your fault. You get yeah. no gold. Yep, you're right. I have you 100. get no gold. I'm oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well... You saw that actually in the fight with the with the thing. Well, all the 
moving around of the ship and all the battling actually cause your coin purse to actually fly down. And only now do you notice as you're trying to look for money. So now I'm a broke bitch, Zero? I mean, you were always a broke bitch, but now you know you're a broke bitch. Now no, I'm a broke <laughs> bitch. Okay. Mama, At the time you had copper, now you have nothing. I have nothing. Mama, you can uh, put the 650 gold towards his debt, and I'm sure that uh, this broke bitch wouldn't mind. Broke bitch? I mean, I can do uh, multiple favors. Wouldn't mind a favor. I can show you why they call me True true Shot. (laughs) Can you? Oh, baby, that's a small (laughs) favor. You need a very big favor in order for me to give you this (laughs) with nothing in return. (laughs) You don't know the size of my favor. I'll figure it out later. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but now mama does not go by favor sizes like that the other kind of favor sizes mm. you silly boy but mm. mama um i will need <clears throat> if it is possible a two uh spell scrolls from you oh let's see what we have let's see the Inquisitor should have sent me a few. If, uh, if it is possible, I would like a uh, spell that would um, negate uh, the casting of a spell from another uh, wizard such as I. Something similar to uh, countering an attack. Uh, let's see. Roll me, roll me a persuasion check, or just a, uh, please. Because that's a very high demand scroll that you're asking for. Okay, um, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not gonna be a good persuasion. Um, <sighs> persuasion ten. <clears throat> Sugar. Sadly, my last, my last scroll of those got bought by a little, little gnome named Chad. A gnome, hmm? Chad. Yeah. I believe Scruntel Chad is his name. Are you talking about Papa? I mean, Papa. Huh? I don't know if I don't know if he's a. Uh, your papa, I mean, he, 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 you're a little bit too big for him, unless he's gone around freaky. When was papa in town? Was he in town recently? About four days ago. Oh, four days ago. He might not still be here. Oh, no. Yeah, I believe he had a little argument with a certain with the unspoken. Hmm... I'm sorry, carry on with your conversation. No, that is quite fine. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think I have the need for anything else. That one seems to be the one that I really wanted. Um, Mm. Unless you were to have a scroll that would allow me to create some sort of magic circle, um, that would allow me to protect my companions uh, from dastardly oh, harm. Oh, Mama always has protection. I have that for you. <laughs> and Liam's tiny hut. Damn. Oh no, I already took. I, I that was one of my pickups. So which one did you want? Magic circle. I was, I was gonna do magic circle, but then I looked at, then I looked at it, and now I don't want it. No, I'm I'm good. <laughs> Change mama. Half cock and mama. You know what happens when you tell mama no. Now that we've talked all this, I need to cash in some favors from y'all. Oh, um, actually, can I? Does she have just out of RP? Does she have pulse wave? It's a. Uh, uh, it's a UA spell. Yeah, sure. 
I'll let you have it. So, can I persuade her to like let me have the bracers on, put on my tab? Sure. Roll me a persuasion check. Hi, DC. <laughs> Would I be at advantage since we've been talking to her for a while and have charm? Can you? Because my diplomat feet. Yeah. It doesn't give you a save, right? It just happens. Uh. I don't see a save. Contested by Romeo Precision Check. Oh, yep. Contested. Okay, I see. Which is going to be hard for you. Hard for me. I mean, you're already hard, so... 15 plus 8. Barely make it. It's a, She's all the 22. You're all the 23. Holy yeah. shit. But yeah, with advantage, then. They go, so they will do another precision roll. Do another? Yeah, that was your, that was your charm. That was oh, your yeah. You get it. <laughs> okay, so now I need to persuade that advantage. That you do. Oh, shit. Okay, that is a 15 plus 8. <clears throat> Again. <laughs> hmm. I'll let you have it on that. As long as y'all do this favor for me. Of course, Mama. We do anything for you. And uh, this is a third level spell, so how much money is that going to cost me? It would be 250 Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate you for being able to just do that. Uh, it's a two fifty, <laughs> and it's a, it's a, uh, what you call it? Spell transmutation. I mean, uh, evocation spell. No, can't be. It's the critical role shit. Oh, it's a chronergy or something. Yeah. So you transcribe it for half the cost. Yep. All right. So somebody's asking me for a favor and I know y'all were big strong men can do that for me one of my dear dear friends needs y'all to go down into the down into the swamp get a get a few trunks of bogwood has to be bogwood has been standing there for 10 years the deepest black you can find Hmm. Is that all you need from us? I also need y'all to get a sigil so I can actually communicate with y'all without having to go to the stall and write letters. You'll know we're we're not in the first century, y'all. But we your have... penmanship is so lovely, Mama. I mean, it is there, but. I really don't feel like walking. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It, it's it's just a constant game of sweet talking. Mm -hmm. You never. It's it's a game that never ends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I really don't know where it'd be. I mean, it's up to y'all. I'm sure. Sterling, you can find it just fine. But that's that's just that would be one of your big favors that you owe me. You just need this wood. What's yes. it called? Bogwood. Bogwood. And it has to be bogwood that has been in uh, has been floating for ten years. And do you know it has been floating for ten years? Because it would be it would be uh, fossilized black. Ooh. Mama said the blackest wood we can find. The blackest <laughs> and the biggest. The bigger the better. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'll have one more favor for y'all. If y'all need a, get y'all can do this for Mama. Go ahead. <sighs> Out of the way. I mean, y'all need to do this quick. La Mania is about to be, about to be, about to be coalescing over here. 
I do not know what you said, but uh, I think it is important. It's all right, I'm there. I'm Every year or so, the plane of Lamania would be uh, coalesced in here, and the woods will flower, flourish. You see, we'll see a lot more animals and such. And any herbs picked during there get a little bit of extra potency. Ooh, potency. potency. Along with a few more animals being a little bit uh, mating crazy. Mating crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh, that sounds like trouble. I mean, y'all can do that just fine, no? Especially with all the items you have for mama. Of course. Maybe. You might want to find... We are down a party number. Perhaps we should try to find an additional set of hands before we set out on these. Are we talking about an interview process? I believe an interview process is... In order. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I very much agree with this plan. Well, because I can... need more shields in front of me while I shoot my arrows. I mean, y'all don't really have that long, so it takes it only be coterminous for about one week. Hmm. Just go on as we're going toward there. Anybody we see, we're like, hey, let's go. Come on. Hey, <laughs> like, do you like you adventure? Doing? Do you, you like adventure? Mm-hmm. Kid? You want some adventure? Do you want to die for us? I got some Hell adventure. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll res you. It costs 400 gold. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that all? No. Oh. That's all I need from Mama. What was that gem that was underneath, or that was on top of the bracer? Oh yeah, what was the gem? What was the gem? What was the gem? What's the gem? What happened to a slim gem? It's a gem of brightness. Oh, oh sounds boring. We're not. Can you see in magical darkness here. with it? <laughs> nope. It is causes an AOE blind. Oh, oh shit. Hmm. Mama, I, I do have one recommend. I do have one uh, request. If you uh, Mama, if you, uh, find more magical items, um, I've heard of these stones um, that uh, some spellcasters uh, use um, and can to kind of spend some time with and uh, attune to them. Um, if you find anything, maybe some knowledge about uh, Ayun stones, that would be uh, in my interest. Oh. And she looks down and she has three of them floating around. She has three of them floating? <laughs> yeah, in her hands. Oh, you're t- talking about this, dear. You see that in her hand? There's three of them just going around orbiting. Uh, of course, uh, Mama has those. Oh God! Okay, how much would those be? Oh. Also, yeah. which which ones are they? Because there's a ton of different items. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them is the uh, one of them is a Dex Stone, the plus two Dex. One of them is the Absorption Stone, and one of them is the Protection one. That plus two plus one AC. Takes uh absorbs uh spells and one gives you a plus two dex. Okay. Um and how much would these be, Mama? You're asking let's see. I mean how much do you have to give? <laughs> uh, I uh, I asked uh, you a question, Mama. <laughs> Don't go cheap on him. He's got the goods. No, no, no. The cheapest one would be. Let me do a quick roll. Cheapest one is rare, so I'm sure it's (laughs) pretty expensive. The cheapest one would be 8k. 
Ah! One more, I want to be back later. <laughs> Those <laughs> stones look very pretty. <laughs> I will also be back another time. Does a gauntlet come with these stones? No. <laughs> you, no. <laughs> <laughs> you like had hatred in your voice. No, no, no. You, you were mistaken. The gem of brightness was the one sitting on top of the gauntlets. Not these bad girls. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's it. <laughs> yep. The yep. iron stone. All right. Uh, where else would we like to go? Back to right, straight to the swamp. Uh, Check hey, Discord. Trix needed us, and Anders also needed us. But yeah. mm -hmm. I think that we should probably complete uh, Mama's favor pretty soon, but uh, if we don't think we are capable with one man down, then perhaps we should wait? I All think right. we can check in with everybody, because they said they needed us rather quickly. Yes, we do need to talk to Anders. But Mama and also needs stuff done quickly. As you guys go away, and step out of the uh, mama's shop you uh that's where we'll end the day thank uh thank y'all for joining us today uh sorry for it being a little bit of an early stream but loss of player and i really don't want these guys to go forward where things are balanced for four or five players with three <laughs> that would be nice especially since disadvantage happens so much